This is Ryan Ham, and what I'm what I've got here is a JC Higgins Model 20, uh, made by High Standard. And when High Standard made it, it was called the Model Flight King, I think is is what they called it. And it's essentially just a pump action shotgun, a fairly uh, standard design. Takes um, a lot of um, it borrows a lot of designs um, from John Browning and J.D. Pedersen. Uh, looks a lot like a Remington uh, Model 17, Ithaca 37, Browning BPS, and uh, a couple of others in that uh, in that realm. Uh, most notably, it's a lot like a Remington Model 31. Um, it's not really as difficult to disassemble as you might be. Uh, you might have seen. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of describe some of the functions. I'm going to disassemble it and uh, show you how everything works. And here we go. Um, I've got another video where I where I uh, show how I cut the barrels on a couple of these shotguns, and and uh, this is one of them that I've cut, and I still haven't put a bead on it yet, but I'll get there. Okay, uh, so it's a uh, Made by um, High Standard Corporation. Um, they used to make guns in America. I think this is made in Connecticut or somewhere in the in the Northeast. This particular one has a magazine cutoff, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. But essentially, when the cutoff is on, it will. Uh, oh, Maybe I won't show you how it works because <laughs> I don't know for sure. Uh, I'll grab a couple of dummy cartridges here in a minute and show you. Um, essentially, uh, the slide release is here. You hit the slide release and uh, you can move the slide freely. As you can see, it's empty. So you can work the action. One thing you'll notice is the action on these is very, very smooth. In fact, it's so smooth that if the, the hammer is cocked and you push the, the uh, slide release, it'll open on its own. I mean, it is very smooth. Now, I, I didn't even have this at a 90 degree angle. Well, it's about a 45 degree angle there. And it, it, it opens itself partially. There you go. It opens itself all the way if you put it at about a 60 degree angle. So, very impressive. Uh, this one has a 2 and 3 quarter inch chamber. I think they made them with a 3 inch chamber. It's got a vent ribbed barrel. The, the ribbing on it is different than, uh, than anything I'm used to. It's an, it's an odd ribbing. Fixed barrel. You can see it's got a little index mark there. I don't know how well it'll show up, but it's got a little index mark there to show you um, where the barrel is uh, torqued to when they install the barrel on the gun. But it's fixed barrel. It's not like the Remingtons or the Mossbergs or um, most modern shotguns where you could take the barrel off. And you can consider that a negative, but uh, I'm not going to because you can clean the shotgun without taking the barrel off. It's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so it's got dual extractors, safety at the front of the trigger guard, much like a Mossberg Maverick. Um, uh, the Ithaca and the Remington have the safeties here. The uh, Mossberg 500 has the safety up here, as does the Browning BPS, I, I believe. And other than that, it's got the slide release in the standard position that uh, Mossberg and I believe Winchester has it in. Makes it uh, fairly easy to hit with your uh, with your uh, right hand. You just just strike it there. Uh, tubular magazine, I believe this holds five. I'll check that in a minute. Uh, single action bar. And uh, when I disassemble it, you'll see um, it's a very sturdy action bar. There, there was um, a lot of uh, negative things said about single action bars breaking. Uh, and certainly the Ithaca 37 has a history. Um, and, and some of the shotguns have a history of breaking action bars. I've been around a while and I've seen uh, all kinds of <laughs> broken... Uh, J.C. Higgins Model 20s and uh, and uh, the the Flight King by High Standard. 
usually doesn't break here. <laughs> if it's broken, it's going to break in another area. Um, speaking of breaking, before I break it down, I'm going to demonstrate the functions, but let me go grab some uh, proving dummies. I'll pause the video and I'll come back. Okay, we're back and I've got some proving dummies. I've got six of them. So let's go ahead and load them up. Um, make sure it's in there. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, rack the slide. Yep. Popped right up. <laughs> I want to uh, around in the chamber too so we can see the total capacity. There's one, two, three, four. Yep, it's got five in the magazine and one in the chamber. So a total of uh, six round capacity. So we'll uh, cycle them through. Of course, I didn't do that very smartly. And it's different. cycle through pretty well. Now let me show you one of the, the positive aspects. This is a slam fire. So I've got one in the magazine, one in the tube. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the trigger. Remember they're dummies. I'm gonna pull the trigger and then I'm gonna keep the trigger held down while I cycle the action. So I'll pull it with my thumb here so you could see. Yeah. Take the safety off. Okay, so the hammer fell. I'm going to cycle the action. And what happened is when that came forward, the gun went off. So I'm still holding down on the on the trigger and I could cycle it. And it, it went off again. See, when you release the trigger, nothing happens because the gun's already fired. So the gun fires when you push the pump forward. You hold down on the trigger and you could fire six shots without um, taking your finger off the trigger. And it's fairly quick, kind of gimmicky. You're not really uh, you're not really being as safe as you could be when you do something like that. Uh, but that's Slam Fire, Winchester Model 12, Ithaca 37, and some other guns have the capability to do that. It's, uh, it's just something interesting to note if you do get a hold of one of these. And let's test out the magazine cutoff. So, it says off, obviously off means that rounds are feeding through the magazine. So the, the magazine cutoff is off. So I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. You can see that the round did not release. And the, the reason why is the off didn't let the little shell stop here move any. So I can move that manually and then the, the round comes out. But uh, it moves the shell stop and keeps it from uh, keeps it from letting that cartridge go. So again you, you have it in the off position that means that's the magazine cutoff switch. If you have it in the off position that means that you're gonna feed rounds have it in the on position, you're not going to feed it. Okay, that's interesting. So now we know how that works, I'll leave it off. Most of the time you're going to leave it off because you're going to feed rounds from the magazine. Okay, so there we go. Now